Hi folks, it's good to be with you. I just want to share with you some verses on the lost sheep of Israel. It's good to be with you and uh, love to everybody out there. My website is jasonburnspreacher.com, my Twitter and Facebook you can get me on. And also, um, you can uh, email me uh, from my website, jasonburnspreacher.com, and you, you know, I'll be in touch with you if you email me. And you can also phone me or send me a text from my phone, um, which you can get from my website at jasonburnspreacher.com. But uh, this is a, a, a piece of paper that I, I was given by my brother, Mike, so he did the research on this one, so um, you can see how I used this uh, in a debate with a Muslim street preacher at Hyde Park, if you look for the video, I actually used this piece of paper that Mike gave me, and um, the title is, I was only sent to the lost sheep of Israel, and uh, so if we turn to Matthew uh, 24, Matthew Matthew, uh, sorry, Matthew fifteen twenty four. It says, But he answered and said, I am sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Muslims will say, the Muslim apologists will say, well, why, why, why have you got this Gentile Christianity where the gospel is preached to Gentile? Jesus was only for Israel. All right. So the Muslims then will think that Christianity is, is really a false religion because it's not following the teaching of Jesus because Jesus was saying, that he was only for the lost sheep of Israel. So Christianity is just a make-believe thing. It's not the real thing. It's not according to Jesus' teaching. So that's the argument. So let's look at some verses that, that show that's false. You go to Matthew uh, 28, verse 16 and 20. Matthew 28. Verse 16 to 20, it says, Then the eleven disciples away into Galilee, into a mountain. And Jesus spoke, verse 18, unto them, saying, All power is given unto me. Verse 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So there, it's clear, Jesus is sending people out to all nations, not just Israel, not just Jews. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9, 2 Peter uh, chapter 3 verse 9, 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9, not rendering evil for evil, I think it is, yeah, 2 Peter, oh, sorry, 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men ought count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, Lord. Not willing, here it is, that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. He's not willing that any should perish. So that means the gospel is offered to all people, not just to Jewish people. Okay. Romans chapter 10, verse 11 to 13. Romans 10, chapter 11 to 13. Romans 10, chapter 10, verse 11 to 13. 
But verse 13, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever is offered to all. And uh, if you go to Isaiah chapter, uh, if you go to, sorry. If you go to John chapter 3 verse 16, for God so loved the world. Luke chapter 13, 29. We go to Luke 13, 29. Luke 13, 29. Luke 13, 28. And they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. So people are coming from all over the world. Isaiah chapter 55, even in the Old Testament, Isaiah 55, Isaiah 55, verse 1 to 5, says, Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not, these shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. So even in the Old Testament, there's teaching that the gospel is to go to all nations. Um, in John chapter 1 verse 11, Jesus is rejected by the Jews. So because they rejected the Jew, the Jews rejected him, the gospel is then offered to those who will receive. In Isaiah chapter 60, the Gentiles will be blessed in Zion. In Isaiah chapter 61, it talks about the good news of salvation to all. In Isaiah 65 verse 1, it shows the, the grace of God for all. In Psalm 65 verse 5, God is the, the confidence of the whole earth. In Psalm 46 verse 10, 10 is a great commission prophecy. So Psalm 46 verse 10. So, Psalm, 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 Psalm. Psalm 46, verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. So, He will be exalted amongst the heathen. The gospel will go out to all. And then Revelation 15, 4, all nations shall worship. Ephesians 2, 11, 13, the kindness of Christ to Gentiles. Haggai 2, 7, nations will desire the Lord. Isaiah 63 to 5, Gentiles shall come to God's light. Isaiah 45, 22, the great commission to the nations. So we see, even in the Old Testament, there are prophecies about the gospel going to all nations. And we even see uh, Jonah, who was told to go and preach to Nineveh. Ruth, in the book of Ruth, Ruth was from Moabite, and yet the Messiah came through down her, down her line, and she was not Jewish. So we have signs where, in the Old Testament, the gospel is not just for Jew, but for Gentile. And when Jesus came, he was for the Jew, but then they rejected him, and then he offered the gospel to all. Okay, and we see that throughout the Old Test uh, the New Testament as well. So I hope that's been a blessing to you, and uh, God bless you, and thank you for listening.